Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your first graph in your Android app. So let's create a new project and click next and next and empty activity is fine. I'm going to make a couple types of graphs. Well, they're all going to be, they're all going to be line graphs, but I'm going to make a couple different plots. Like one plot, I'm going to make a sine curve. Another one, I'll make an exponential and another one, maybe I'll make like a log just to show you that you can make different plots and it's very simple you just would change the function that you're adding the data points into so to get started with plotting on Android we're gonna need to grab a library for help so we'll go to just type uh, graph view in Google we're gonna use the graph view library this this is actually probably my my second favorite library I like I like I actually prefer MP Android chart it just like it just looks better but there was a there was a problem recently with the mp android chart uh, on click listener it wasn't working properly and actually added a ticket to their page but anyway that's why i'm not going to use this one i'm going to use graph view so we're going to grab the graph view library we're going to go to download and getting started i'm going to grab the dependency here so grab that go back into your project go to gradle go to your gradle app folder go down to the bottom Paste the dependency down here, just click, click sync. Okay, once that's done, let's go into our layout file and we're gonna throw in our graph. So let's get rid of this text view and get rid of padding. And okay, now we're gonna throw in our graph view. That's the one we want right there, the com jojo64 graph view graph view. Let's grab that, do match parent, match parent, and we're just gonna give it an ID. I'm just gonna call it graph, keep it simple. I've actually done a very similar tutorial to this in the past, but it's pretty old and whenever I watch it, it just makes me cringe a little bit. So I really wanted to remake uh, like a beginner graphing video. So to start, we're going to declare uh, a, what's called a line graph series. So do line graph series and it's going to take the data type of data point and we'll just call it series. Actually, we'll call it series one. Now we're going to create two double variables and these are going to be our X and our Y. So if you Pull up my beautiful diagram here. Let's actually go new. And what I'm going to do for the first one is I'm going to create a, uh, an axis. It's going to be y and x. Actually, it's probably going to be more like this. And then I'm going to plot a sine curve. So sine starts at zero and goes like this. And here, what does it hit zero at? Pi, two pi. And this is zero. So it's at its peak here at uh, 1 at pi by 2, and then it hits its next peak here at 3 pi by 4. But anyway, this isn't a math lesson. We're just going to plot this thing. So let's create two double variables, x and y, and we're going to set our starting point x. Let's just start x at 0, just to make it easy. You can start it at negative, it doesn't matter. And then we need to declare our graph. So our graph, it's graph view, id, and we named it graph. Now we need to declare our series, so series 1 equals new line graph series. And now we need to add data to the graph, or uh, sorry, add it to the series, and then you add the series to the graph. So we'll just do a for loop. The amount of, actually I'll create a variable, I'll just call it um, integer num data points. And this is going to be the number of data points that you're going to plot. So I'm just going to choose 500 just a completely random number. You can choose as many data points as you want, and then we're gonna increment i. Now we have, an, we have x values and we have y values. The y values are a function of the x values because the thing that we're gonna plot basically is y equals sine of x. So we just plug in values for x and then the values for y's will be represented by the function. So first of all, we'll do our values of x. So we just do x is going to equal whatever x previously was plus 0 0.1. The reason I'm using 0 0.1 is because it gives it the, the graph a nice continuous look. If I was to use like uh, 0 0.5, for example, if I had my sine curve here, it might look like this. It would be like a dotted, dotted thing. But if I use x equals x plus 0 0.1, it gives it a nice smooth continuous look. Technically, it, there's it, there's still gaps in between the points, but they're so small that you can't see them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go x equals uh, x plus 0 0.1, and then we're going to go y equals math dot sine of x, and that's it. We have our function. Then we just add 
our uh, data points to the series. So append data, we go new data point because we need to add a new data point each time. We pass X and we pass Y. We need to pass true here and 100. That will give us our data series. And then once we're done adding all the data to the series, we just add it to the graph. So we can just do graph.addSeries and add series one. And that should be it. This will create a graph for us. So um, let's take a look at this one and then we'll plot another one. All right, there we go, there's our sine curve. Just a nice, simple graph. And of course, there's tons of customizability for these graphs, like you can label the axis, you can add legends, you can add on-click listeners, um, and all of that is outlined in the graph view documentation. So you just head down to the documentation section here and browse through this and it shows you how to do all that stuff. So you can have style options, legends, scales, you can make it so it zooms, so it scrolls, all that stuff. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm going to do more tutorials on this yet. You want to see kind of how this one goes and if you guys want to see more uh, tutorials on customizing these graphs, leave comments and let me know. I just want to see if there's a, there's a demand for it before I do anything. So now that we've graphed a sine curve, let's graph something else. So we'll create a second series, let's call it series 2 and I'll declare it down here, call it series 2. You know, I guess I'll create a new variable. I'll do double y2 equals map. We're going to plot an exponential. So I'll do that and then do series 2 dot append data x. And uh, I'll explain why I'm doing this 0 0.001 thing in a sec here. Graph dot add series. So the reason I did this is there's kind of a limitation with the graph view library. Everything that gets added to a series has to be added in increasing in ascending order. But now that I, now that I thought about it, we have two separate series, so it doesn't matter. That should be fine. Just, but like if I was to add points at random into a series, it would crash because the points have to be added in ascending order. But because X is ascending, we're okay here. The Y values don't matter. It's just X that has to be ascending. So anyway, I have a feeling this is going to crash. I'm going to run it and see what happens. I think that this, because this function gets too large. Oh, it actually did plot. But um, let's set some colors here. So color dot, let's go color dot blue there. Now they should be different colors. There we go. Yeah, so you can't you can't really see the sine curve. It actually is going back and forth between negative one and one, but uh, this exponential just is so large in comparison that you can't even see it do that. So definitely uh, plotting an exponential next to a sine curve is not a good idea. Let's plot let's plot um, sine and plot cos instead. So I will change this to do math uh, cos and just throw an x there and we'll just plot these two together. And there we go, so that gives us a much better looking curve. We can see the cos curve in blue and the sine curve in red, and it's cut off here because those are the only amount of data points that we want. We, we, we could plot more data points by increasing this to 500. I'll rerun it, and we can see we get more data points there. So like I said, this is just like an intro to plotting on Android. Uh, you can obviously do a ton with this, like. Graph view has bar charts, pie charts, line charts, scatter charts. Uh, same with MP Android chart library. You can add on-click listeners, change colors, add legends, do all kinds of stuff. I'm totally willing to do more videos on this. I just want to see if there's a demand for it, like if you guys actually want to see it. If you do, then leave comments and I will definitely do more videos on graphing. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, leave a like below. Follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.